you know that air quality has caused over 800,000 premature deaths each year worldwide? Did you know that air quality causes health problems, especially among children? Scientists have estimated that there are 505 hospital admissions for respiratory diseases such as asthma, 3,500 emergency doctor visits due to respiratory problems, and 180,000 asthma attacks within the course of the year inside the Bay Area. Did you know that there's something you can do about it? Many people do not know about the effects of air pollution. Even the simplest things such as riding your bike to work or taking the public transit have a positive impact on decreasing poor air quality in the Bay Area. Car exhaust is harmful to the environment because it turns into ozone, which is the main component of smog. And smog and ozone are healthy to have in the air because they are corrosive and they damage eye and lung tissue. There are some beautiful sunsets in the Bay Area, but a lot of that is because of the smog that we have in the Bay Area as far as um, creating the filters for these nice glowing sunsets. And one of the things that happens with this smog is that it creates health conditions for the Bay Area residents. And we have a lot of physically active people in the Bay Area who like to get outside and exercise, whether it's running around the lake or hiking with their dogs. And as a result of that, they are finding themselves the irony is as they try to become more healthy, they're being exposed to unhealthy debris in the environment. What are biofuels? Now there are a lot of different biofuels. We can produce fuel from grain and that includes both soybeans and corn. Uh, we can produce uh, biodiesel from soybean oil and we can produce ethanol from corn and that's what we're doing mostly right now. We need to move away from that as fast as we can, just as fast as we can move away as, and as much as we need to move away from petroleum fuels. The reason being that using grains for fuel is actually pushing food prices up and, and causing a lot of economic uh, problems for a lot of different people as well. Electric vehicle powered by uh, a wind-generated electricity, it's still, it's still better to have an efficient one than an inefficient one. So basically we've set this car up so we can run uh, very economically on pretty much anything. Uh, Biodiesel, diesel, vegetable oil, uh, we can get uh, 60 to 75 miles per gallon on, on uh, anything that we can run in a diesel. Why are t alternative fuels so important today? Well. Alternative fuels are a very important issue today in 2008 because energy finally has come to the forefront as a, as a very important topic. Not only is there the increasing dependence upon oil um, with you know, then the world's uh, resources becoming more and more scarce, additionally there is the, the knowledge out there that these are becoming very viable options and the opportunity is there to make significant change. And in this upcoming election, there is the opportunity to actually pursue these options and to see them take the form and we hope actually usurp the control that oil and petroleum have over our society. What's really interesting is that there are private companies that are on the verge of commercialization with technologies that can do exactly that produce gasoline and diesel from cellulosic biomass and uh, I'm anticipating within the next few months there are going to be some major breakthroughs announced uh, to the effect that we can produce our same fuels, gasoline and diesel, from biomass instead of oil. And I think what's important to understand is that it's not the fuel. Gasoline and diesel do not pollute if they're made from biomass. They do pollute if they're made from oil because we are taking, in the case of oil, we are taking carbon out of the ground, out of oil wells where it's essentially harmless and we're adding it to the atmosphere where it, it aggravates the risk of global warming. So if you take uh, biomass, basically that biomass is produced by plants which are pulling carbon out of the atmosphere when they grow tying it into the biomass and when we actually use that for fuel we're simply recycling biomass, uh, recycling carbon and not adding to the carbon pool in the atmosphere and so it's essentially carbon neutral. The danger simply is enough is that we're going to run out of it. Uh, petroleum is entirely, entirely too useful as a, 
uh, as a, a product for making things. It's also it's also too useful for as a place to um, uh, sequester carbon. And we've already used up all the uh, all the easy oil. If our uh, if our society can't make the conversion from uh, petroleum based to renewable renewable fuels, as a technological society, it, it will eventually collapse. And and the next society is not going to have um, the one that tries to rise from the ashes is not going to have the advantage of being able to drill shallow holes and get gas uh, get gas out of the ground. So it, it's um, it's not going to just hurt the next couple generations. It, if uh, if we if we run out, it'll be many thousands of years before um, before we have a, a reasonable alternative. Now, the United States imports over 60% of the petroleum uh, oil that we use. That is causing economic crisis that the, that the uh, country is in. Um, about one and a half billion dollars a day leaves this country to buy oil. And, and so we are getting into debt fast. We've been doing this for years and we're now paying the price for that. The other important aspect of biofuels is the distributed uh, industry. It's going to promote economic development in rural areas that desperately need it. And um, so it's going to actually contribute to improving a lot of uh, different aspects of the economy in the United States. Global warming, there seems to be more and more evidence that it is actually happening. And uh, that is serious, and there seems to be more and more evidence that we humans are causing it primarily by burning fossil fuels. Seeing the effects of air pollution towards human health, as well as biofuels that could be used in the future. Petroleum is running scarce, and it's time that we make the great leap forward into biofuels, improving air quality in the Bay Area 